some of you are going to get a notification saying that it's streaming again, but I'm going to go ahead and set up the... Whoa! What just happened? Let's see here. My channel. And going live now. Whoa! Wait, there you go. Okay. Going on Facebook. Uh, boom. Resuming live stream now. Publish this this video. Continuing where we left off. Okay. Post. All right. So let's see what we got here. Um, and uh, let's reopen this. Okay. 45 cats and a hurricane. Can we stay here? Okay. Uh, which website? Just my graphic design site. I guess now is a good time to get water. I'm guessing everyone left. Perfect timing. Who's left besides you and me? I'm still here. Too lazy to close the tabs. I just came back. Hey Cynthia, hey Chakra, hey Carla. How's everyone passing the time working on my website? Watching a video about music for cats. I'm Hurricane Sandy. Talking to you guys on my laptop. Facebook on my phone. Uh, at an animal shelter. I'm still sort of here packing. Can't wait to go again. One girl bought me. 30. Brought home a pen of cats. We had a total of 145 cats. That doesn't make any sense. I had a dream for the people shipped cats and dogs to Bill. Don't ship me any cats or dogs, please. Uh, that's a little outside the box. They were alive and well. They somehow survived the shipping. Don't question my dreams because they gave up trying. Got timed out. Too many messages. Cat, uh, where are you going to close the mountains? Um, still very inland in the summer. Okay. Yeah, not okay. Scared me. Ah. Uh, no, that definitely wasn't 30 minutes. I wasn't able to do uh, what I thought I was going to be able to do. Um, I'm happy to be in the, the company of Markiplier. Um, hey, Mina. Um, what happened? I, I drove home and the stream was done. Yeah, uh, the stream got interrupted. I had to go and tend to some, some apartment business. Um, he already thinks I'm weird. Well, you have told me about, like, four different dreams that I've been in of yours, Jazzy. Um, I unboxed this... Uh, another storage box of the exact same size and shape. I also unboxed these guys here. These epoxy sculpts uh, came in the in the mail today, and uh, it's like a it's like a clay two part epoxy that hardens and you can sand it down. It's good for good for uh, prop detailing. Um, Another one of those boxes. So it's three now. Uh, it's funny. I, I literally right before um, I started this stream, I had just finished packing up that other box with uh, sewing supplies. So now I'm gonna pack up another one while we're talking. Um, and the great thing about these boxes is 
they come divider free at first. So it's just got a bunch of little empty things and then you can put individual dividers in there but you've got to separate the dividers with a pair of scissors. So I'll be doing that while we're talking. Um, in fact, I can't have it kind of for bed now. Uh, I'm going to be so organized. Right now I'm going to take all of my pens, uh, my highlighters, and my markers, and all my pencils and grease pens and protractors and stuff, and I'm going to stuff them all in this bad boy right now. So let's see, what goes first? Let's say markers go first. I'm going to put these markers here and put my dry erase markers on the other side for how much I use them. Um, Marley, you didn't miss much, I'll be honest with you. Not a lot has happened in the past few minutes or in this stream at all. These markers aren't going to work out. Damn it. I'm going to do a lot of figuring out. What exactly are those boxes called? Because I need to order a few of those for myself. Let me do this. Here's all the details, uh, Candace. Looks like that this number right here, this 5231, is probably the part number that you want to go with. So whenever you feel like it, you can go back through and screenshot this and it'll it'll bring you to, to wherever you need to be to find those boxes. Um, man, I got a ton of Sharpies. Where did all these Sharpies come from? But I like it. I like having Sharpies. What games are you looking forward to playing? What games am I looking forward to playing? Well, I mean, I'm looking forward to playing... Are you? Oh, wait, you're talking to the person who's getting the... Um, thing, the uh, play PS4. You're not talking to me at all. I don't need that. I don't need you asking me questions for them, because you're not. You're asking them questions. I'm just talking out my ass right now. Works a lot. Red marker. Okay, and all this crap is dry erase. That's fine. All right. In God's name. How many cats we had at the animal shelter I volunteered at during Hurricane Sandy? 145 cats. That's really sad. I hope some of them got adopted. Um, Mika says... Not really comfortable with I need you being said. What does that mean? to play PT trailer, but they yanked it off PlayStation Store and I still haven't saved money. It's weird that they would take games off of the store. You'd think they'd just want to keep selling it. I guess there's licensing issues and stuff that can happen. Um, what's the P, what's PT stand for? Is that the name of the game? Or is that, uh, I'm trying to think of a game that would fit into the Acronym PT, or the initials PT. The uh, post. The something with the wet trailer. I don't know. PT. with PT? It's because they canceled Silent Hill. It's PT. Playable teaser. Oh. Oh, you don't need me. Need's a weird word. Need? Let's not be needy. Let's not need anything from me. That'd be stupid. Let's just say we enjoy being around. You know, that's fine. That works for me. And that way we leave need out of the conversation. Because need gets weird fast. And I don't want to get weird on you. 
then you don't want to get weird on me. Oh, that's the wrong one I need. See, now I'm using the word need, and that's not cool. Makes me feel dependent. So this is what it would look like if I did a crafting podcast. It would be a lot of me snipping. Actually, it would be a lot of me moving around the apartment. So you probably wouldn't even be getting my face in here as much. And then Helen would get mad at me. Because she wants my face in the stream right now, all the time. Don't mess around with Helen. She needs to see me, needs to know I'm there. Okay. And one more. Um, I like hanging out with you, Bill. I'm so distracted right now. I have this stream and I have Ash vs. Evil Dead playing. Well, certainly pay attention to the thing that was made to entertain you. This is just me sitting around my apartment putting little shelves and organizers. You know, this isn't uh, produce, well produced entertainment. This is just garbage, to be honest. It's just, just garbage. So, let's see, I take all these dry erase markers and just throw them away. Just throw them right out the window. Okay, so now I'm going to take all my highlighter markers. I hope you guys like highlighters and markers and crap. Um, it's groovy. Alright. Look at all these markers I have. They're so stupid. Markers. I bet half these markers don't even work. I'm just stacking dried markers in a stupid thing. So what do you guys think? Um, should I, uh, should I, I mean, seems like people are responding pretty well to the, uh, Firefly, I hate Firefly tweets. Um, I'm trying to, in general, get more followers on Twitter, as it seems like Twitter is the most, uh, Credible of social media sources. Like, if you want to be well known, you got to be on Twitter and you got to have a lot of followers. So, I want to be more active on there and just generally be like doing stuff more uh, Twitter wise. So, um, I don't know, maybe we can we can do do the, the TV show reviews and do. Um, I don't know. What else? What else can we do? Like, trivia stuff? I just need to be more jokey on there, I think. Just generally have more jokes on Twitter. That's what I'd like to do. Okay, so that's that. Pins here. When I worked at UPS, you had to use these grease markers. They're like China markers. Man, I ended up with so many of these things. And I still use them every once in a while, but too many. Don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. I know, I'll put them in this friggin' box. How's that sound? Perfect, awesome, great, grand, wonderful. Don't bother me. I do what I want. Got a stylus there. Okay. This stuff. That's a protractor. That's a protractor. This is like a knife. That won't fit. One of this. These two are China markers. So as you can see, when I'm not unboxing anything, not so entertaining, as it turns out. Just sitting here concentrating on other things. I don't like it. You can get out. Or maybe 
maybe I just should be concentrating on you guys. But you can't do this on Twitch, you know? They want you to be playing a game all the time. And, as my PC has proven time and time again, I can't be doing that kind of thing. Was another pen here. Yeah, there. Yes, look at that. Look at all those pens and stuff. These erasers in here. This there. Yeah, there. Yes, look at that. Look at all those pens and stuff. There's even a little, um, little guy in there. A little pencil sharpener. Okay. Now we're going to load this bad boy up with some markers. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Oh, good night, kitten. Um, leaving live streaming that is popular. I don't really let you know when I start mine. Parody movie reviews. Yeah, I mean, tough part about that is I got to actually watch the movie. I don't. Honestly, I feel bad every time I send one of those tweets about Firefly because I don't really like movie or, or entertainment reviewers because it's too easy. Like, it's too easy to just be like, oh, here's something that cost a million dollars to make, and I, a person who has to spend zero dollars to sit here and talk shit about it, am going to rip it a new asshole. Um, and the only reason I'm doing it with Firefly is because, like I said, like, so many people have recommended it, and it's just so bad, like right off the bat. So bad. And it's not, it's in no way redeemable. Like, there's nothing good about Firefly that I have seen. And people defend it so fervently. And it doesn't, it's just awful. God, it's awful. I hate it so much. goes here. Put these, I guess, right there. Actually, here. And, I, yeah, like, uh, what's her name? There's, I have a follower on Twitter who's constantly tagging, um, Firefly doesn't suck, but it does. It does suck. Um, See, two full bags watching movie reviews. Um, I'd love to review Crimson Peak. Unfortunately, I think there's too many, like, not spoilers, but I would just give away too much, I think, because I really want to get into the plot and why it progresses the way it does. Um, look up Abby Darkstar. Keith and Abby did a badass couples A versus ED for Dragon Con. Thought it was cool seeing your... Oh, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Okay. Uh, I barely use Twitter just to follow a few. Love to see an Ash cosplay. Do you watch any awards shows, Bill? No, I don't. I don't really care about awards. Um, uh, enjoy the shows. Yeah, I can't. What do, you, what do I do with all that stuff? Not much lately. I haven't drawn much, so... You know... Um, there hasn't been a lot of activity with any of these markers. Um, it's entertaining in its own way. We have to be careful what you do in order not to violate the terms of service. Yeah, I last thing I want to do is get banned from Twitch for not playing a game. I was laughing because a guy had crochet and chill on his channel with basically a camera aimed at his crotch 
while he worked on a sweater. Hey, if people are watching it. Um, Jazzy, rub his throat, and that would calm him. My pugs do that sometimes. It helps. Weird. Short snout. He's a chihuahua. Then he burped. <laughs> a burping chihuahua. Uh, we're just kind of talking about everything, Wraith. Um. D see, Allison, I don't believe that. I don't think things need negative reviews in order to better themselves. Because here's the thing. Once something's finished, reviewing it doesn't matter. It is what it is. Like, the only person that can have any effect on whether or not something changes is the person who's going to make it. So, like, wh if I think that, you know, Crimson Peak is a shitty movie, it's not like me reviewing it is going to get to Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro and he's going to, like, change things because, like, enough people reviewed his movie in a certain way. Like, it just doesn't work like that. If anything, he's going to start making more of his own shit just to spite... Because he's famous enough that it doesn't matter. And if you start reviewing, like, smaller filmmakers and you're giving them shitty reviews, it's not constructive. It just means they're you're discouraging them from continuing to make movies. So, like I said, I, I just don't really feel like film reviewers are doing much good at all, no matter how well-trained they are, no matter, um, you know, what their, their background is, like, it's all, it's all just somebody who's so self-important that they think that they're gonna, like, I don't know, change the world by talking about movies that they watched, and it's just not, it's just not that important. Look at all this lead I have, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, what is this, HB, R15, thick leads, medium, let's put them in here, long leads, Man, I have all these art supplies, and I don't use any of them. And they're all really nice art supplies that I've had for a long time. This fit here? Maybe it'll go like that. Okay. Alright. What else we got? What else we got here? Freed up a pencil, a couple of pencil holders. I've got this beautiful watercolor set right here. I'm one of the many like things my mom found at a dollar store and sent me. So that's nice. I got my color wheel. For anyone who's taken color theory, you remember having your color wheel handy and never using it. Because it's basically just... Oh, a thing that tells you what colors are. <laughs> Which, honestly, if you don't already know what colors are, chances are you won't ever. Um, uh, a single colored pencil. It's going to have to just go in the garbage. What else do I got back here? I got tape. More lead. Holy crap. I got 0 0.7 lead and I got 0 0.5 lead. This is square lead. I don't know where this is have to go. How is this square lead? Look at that. Little tiny lead, guys. So that's all going to go in here. And we got about 50 of those. Okay, so that can go into recycling. And then 
this. Let me actually just keep this handy. There we go. That's fine. Put the double sided. That's not going to fit. off. This is what happens when you let me organize on a stream. You guys are all going to have quality problems. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's catch up with what you guys are saying. Uh, yeah, it, my, my terrible reviews of Firefly are just making more people want to watch it. It hasn't been that long. It's still in theaters, so it's not okay to start reviewing a movie that's in theaters. <sighs> you put spoiler warnings, people are still going to say that you spoiled the movie for them. Like, people don't have any restraint. You can write NSFW, you can write um, anything you want as a precursor to stuff, and people are still going to complain that you didn't warn them. I didn't know what NSFW means. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. CP review? You guys, and by the way, anytime you, um, oh, Crimson Peak review, I will not catch on to acronyms or abbreviations for a long time. Uh... I've already had to figure out Crimson Peak and Ash vs. Evil Dead just in this stream. And it hurt my brain to do that. So if you ever want to use acronyms, be ready for me not to know what the fuck you're talking about. That's working fine. Okay. Uh. Here? That's it? Does that work? Can do that? Yeah, that's alright. <sighs> what else? What else can I put in here? I want to put a bunch more things in this box, but I don't think I can fit anything else. That close. So as you can see here, got a bunch of art supplies in there. Uh, I, can't, I can't really see, but... There's art supplies in there now. Okay. Something's not wanting to close. Because of the scissors. Okay. Alright. Well, that's something. Now there's things in the box. Like my wife. Am I right? I'm right. Okay, alright, good. Let's just kind of throw all this crap in here. A ruler, that fits, right? That's fine. Okay. Uh, Crimson Peak has been out for a while. I can't just put a spoiler disclaimer. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Uh. Wish I could get it, but I don't know. I liked the movie. Um, Doug Jones was kind of my favorite part. Just left with a feeling of, well, called all of that happening and didn't know if I should be proud. I could guess all of it before seeing the movie or disappointed. Just going to wait until it's on DVD. Fair enough. Some of these movies go through previews, don't they? Yeah, the fucked up part is if you watched... Uh, hey, Joanna. If you watched... The, tr the preview for Crimson Tree, pre pe the preview for Crimson Peak, you pretty much got the entire plot of the movie. Um, it was all the good parts were in the trailer. Um, my kind of current way, Sherlock Christmas special. I'm always open to suggestions, though. Well, I don't personally suggest Firefly. Uh, Doug Waltz fashion decor. Uh-huh. Just some critics are 
kinder with their words than others. Not really. Some critics legitimately love certain movies that everyone else hates. To force myself to put pencil to paper to on computers. Uh, I have the novelization for Crimson Peak, but I'm afraid to read it. I don't know why. I don't know why either. Heard a book answer a lot of questions. The wheel. Yeah, the wheel is garbage. Um, uh, the, the house was a character in the book, I guess. Crimson Peak left a lot of questions unanswered. That was a great gothic romance. That gothic romance, like, it... <laughs> It was a ghost movie. Yeah, there was a love story, but really you're not focusing on anything but the fact that someone's about to get murdered. Like, no one cares about the actual love story in Crimson Peak. When you look back on it, you're not concerned about whether or not the lovers are going to make it as lovers. You're concerned about someone dying. That makes it a horror thriller. The gothic romance thing, yes, the romance is an aspect, but it's not the main focus of the movie. It's just a... It's a side note at the end of the day. So, Mr. Del Toro, like, I'm sorry, but... You can't... You can't have it all. You can't get the gothic romance label when... Most of your budget was spent on making blood-covered ghosts. Oh, uh, well, there's no blood. Brr. You know what I'm talking about. Um, there was a credit scene. What did I miss? I was wondering the same thing, Jazzy. Yeah, like I said, I don't know why I hesitate to read. The Art of Darkness book was amazing, though. He's filling up the new box, Tim. Bill is reorganizing his supplies. Yeah, Tim, I'm just uh, throwing art supplies in a box right now. I Since I already did the unboxing and we already talked about some of the stuff that's been going on on Twitter, there's really not a lot left to talk about, and we're just kind of trying to discuss what might be good for more social media stuff. But I got a bunch of markers in a box. How's that sound to you? Uh, I would like to get... Uh, Okay, whatever. Wow, all right. Um, you could always donate art supplies to a community center or something if you aren't using them anymore. That's true, I could do that. Not a credit scene, but Guillermo de Toro uh, had something placed within the first part of the end credits to make you question things. Uh, are there any creative people here? Isn't everyone creative? Um, I miss it then. I'll have to try and find it online. I actually think it was cheap for the quality of it. What about the stream? I'm going to say it on the stream. Uh, oh, the, the thing at the beginning of the credits. I'm trying to think what that might be. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I want to make it, make the tip of Gungnir, and I have no idea how to do it. You know, uh, Joanna, if you're trying to make Gungnir, um, a lot of people make it out of that uh, pink insulation foam. You can get it at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or Osh, whichever is your preference. And it's just a flat piece of thick uh, pink foam, and you can cut shapes out of it and then you can kind of whittle it down very easily but it's also foam so it'll get dinged and scratched and broken easily um some people also make it out of wood but gungnir's tough because it, you got to get that gold finish on there so see what you can do i look forward to seeing if you come up with anything um graphic designer the actual staff is wood. I couldn't find ash. I had to sell for hemlock. Uh, light cover to wood plastic. Sounds interesting. Maybe finding a design layout. I've been trying to figure out how to make Sigan's helmet. Bill, I mean, they show the whole movie to critics and various people. Yeah, I guess. One of my favorite games is critically acclaimed, but it seems like everyone else hates it. What's your favorite game, Wraith? 
I'll keep searching for something. Hey, Lynn, 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 Lynn is here. Lynn is here. Um, drawing could be fun streams. I guess I could do a drawing stream. Just trying to warm up a little bit. I'd be a little ashamed depending on what I ended up turning out, though. Um, Shad? <laughs> yeah, jo Joanna, I have... <laughs> I have an art degree. It's from SCAD. It's S C A D, not sh not Shad. Shad is a I think it's a the shortened version of the name of a pornographic artist who got famous on uh, on uh, newgrounds.com. So, not not a degree from Shad. Um my my degree is in sequential illustration, not graphic design. My creativity, calligraphy. I could be creative. I used to be, but it used to suck all my. I don't know. My creative. Okay. All right. Creative people. Well, I've been. I've written a romance novel and a published paint cross stage cosplay. That count? Sure, Selena. I'm with Mika. Sounds pretty creative to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we sending the carnage to you or straight to Steven? If you've got Steven's address, I'd say send it to him. He's definitely going to be up in Fresno for a while, so uh, I'm sure he wouldn't mind giving you his address um, uh, if you don't already have it. Cross-stitch, trying to improve my sewing. Uh, DMC. Uh, uh, uh. It's not a porn star. It's a guy who does kind of like uh, more hentai sort of drawings. And they're all like sort of... Uh, really they're not filthy they're just really gritty like he actually does from what i remember um his name is like the real shad man and he does like a lot of stuff with like blood like it's it's got a lot of tits and blood in it and like amputations like he's one of those guys that's into like weird amputation porn shit uh, if you're on DeviantArt, you may know what I'm talking about, where every once in a while you'll open up your feed and there'll be some, some girl with, like, her, like, stumps for arms and legs and they're all sewn up and shit, and people are into that kind of thing. Uh, and I, I, if I recall correctly, he has that kind of, uh, uh, art style. Um, let's see. Shad Base. Don't judge me. We don't have his address. Uh, well, I mean, ask Stephen if he doesn't want to give you his address. You could send it to the PO box, and I'll give it to him on the twentieth when he comes down for Memphis. Um, this that sounds different. Uh, I guess only the power box or his wish list. Oh, the PO box, not. Um. Deep web type creepy stuff. Yeah, exactly. Deep, the deep web is a good is a good way to put it. Um, it's funny though because it's very prevalent. If you get on DeviantArt and you just look at the first thirty things that are like they have a feed that you can look at, whatever the most recent thing is that's been posted to DeviantArt, you will see like five or six really popular types of like fetish art and a lot of it involves like furry sort of stuff like very colorful animals with like you know very muscular bodies like human the uh, anthropomorphic animals muscular like men with fox heads and stuff like that and then there's like the giant women and the expansion women women who are being like inflated with bicycle pumps and stuff um, pregnant women, uh, just crazy, crazy stuff. And, uh, you know, DeviantArt's a dangerous place to go around. Uh, muscular bunnies. You could find muscular bunnies. Did I get your PM? If you've sent it during the stream, I haven't looked at it. 
Uh, if you're talking about the one concerning whether or not I should open your package, I'm going to wait until Thursday's broadcast. Um, don't, you know, but the thing is, though, like, I we, we talk about furries as if they're all sexu sexual deviants, um, but that's not the case. Like, furries are actually a very friendly and uh, kind of, they're not, they're, they're just kind of a happy cosplay subgroup. Um, I've met most of the furry, I, I've liked most of the furries I've met, um, because they're just people who like wearing mascot costumes. Uh, there's no real sexual charge to it, at least not when they're in public. Like, it seems like most furries stick to their pri their private lives stay private, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. So, uh, I got nothing against furries. One of my good friends is a furry, and she's, um, she's an amazing crafts person. Uh, she's an amazing, um, seamstress and, uh, 2D artist, and she's very generous and kind, and, um, she just goes to furry conventions and sells her art and stuff, and there's a great community there, and she makes a lot of great friends and stuff, so if, uh, you know, please be kind to furries, uh, when you're, when you're speaking about them, uh, in, on the internet, or wherever, you know, just, just generally be nice, like, they don't, they don't mean to harm anybody, for the most part, uh, even if their culture does have some dark corners. I think that's true of every single hobby. You know, you could probably find some cosplayers who represent the community in, in a way that's not very palatable. Uh, but whenever I see furries, I try to say hi, and I try to be um, friendly, you know, because they are, typically. So be cool to furries. They're not harming you. They don't mean nothing. They just want to sweat their asses off in a fursuit for some reason, but it's not for me to question. Uh, let's see. Oh, Lynn, no. Good night, Lynn. Um, bronies. Don't worry about bronies. Bronies are even more harmless. Uh, good night, Lynn. I know you're probably gone by now, but good night. Um, I don't want to kink shame. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's no reason to put shame on somebody if, if it's an entire community. Like, there's obviously a ton of people who are into it. Uh... Michelle's Twitter is Mochi. I think it's uh, Mochi. It's either Mochi or Mochi Roo on Twitter. Um, but check her out. She's great. She's very friendly, very generous, and she's actually offered to give me some tutorials on sewing and let me use her like industrial sewing machine. And I've always meant to go over and do that, but I just never finish anything that I'm currently working on, so I never start on actually making a costume. That I want to make, um, but when I do, she's probably one of the first people I'm going to go to in that. There's no arguing that um, she's very fast and very talented at making high-quality uh, pieces with, you know, with cloth. Um, also with um, uh, upholstery foam. She makes all the furry heads and uh, mascot heads uh, by hand from scratch. And she does it fast and she sells them. And they're all high quality and super cool looking. Um, something tells me you're a naughty girl, Jazzy. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, had to come say hi. And I can hear Tim listening, Bill's voice in the other room. Different strokes for different folks, that's exactly right. Um, my best friend's nickname for me, Jazz. Jazz. 
Tim is hardcore. Straight up. Concert choir, concert choir. Uh, Tim hardcore activator, piano for two years. Made a whole documentary about bronies called the... Yeah, the, I watched one of the brony documentaries. It's actually kind of heartwarming to see everybody be friends and stuff. Like, just kind of walk into a convention and see these people who may not have the most well-adjusted social skills um, just to watch them be able to walk in somewhere and be happy, you know? And, you know, maybe make a few friends and maybe not even make a ton of friends, but still just walk in and be uh, comfortable in a place because, you know, a lot of the people you would see in that documentary, they weren't, they weren't the type of people who are going to be able to go to a bar or to a party and have a lot to say that people are going to, you know, want to, want to make friends with. But, um, I liked, I liked the Brony documentary. I thought it was fun. Let's see. I know a brony, and he says some people are okay, so I'm get too intense. I think that's the case with most cons in general, not just brony cons, uh, or my little pony cons, but also, you know, comic conventions are just as bad, where you walk in and there's some people who just rub you the wrong way, and uh, you just gotta roll with it, because you can't control it. They, uh, they're there, and they're trying to enjoy themselves just like you are. So you make space for yourself and hopefully they don't stay on your case because that's when it gets to be a problem. Um, Got to fix dinner later. Good night, Elizabeth. Uh, every group has the good and the bad, and unfortunately. Yeah, but I think more, more often than not, the good far overwhelms the bad. Um, as far as the number of people partaking. However, I think the bad taints the good a lot. Like, you know, for example, with furries, like, people immediately go to the people who are having costumed anonymous sex rather than thinking of it as just people who like to craft and wear colorful animal costumes, which is in itself harmless. But we're so, we as a culture are so concerned with what people are doing with their genitalia that we're just like, the witch! It's a witch! Kill her! <laughs> like, that, the six tailed otaku fox, she's a witch! Just, uh, you know, better do her thing. She's just a six tailed otaku fox. I probably just handing out Hershey Kisses. They ain't poisoned. They just heard she kisses, because she likes making people happy. Um, let's see. I'm supposed to hit the road in a few hours, seven hour drive. Candace, you do a ton of driving. Why do you do so much driving? Is that all acting gigs? Watching people of like mine. Yeah, exactly. Dead purple. The designated driver till after two. Well, sleeping isn't bad. Just have your phone on. Uh, and turning around and driving right back. Wow, you just are all over the place. A seven-hour drive for an audition. That better be a high-paying gig. Seems like you work quite a bit, but still, like, if you're going to be driving that much, I can't imagine how much of your income goes into maintaining your vehicle and paying for gas and stuff. All right. This stuff in here, that might just finish up what I can do with this box. Which is unfortunate, because I'd like to put more in here. I just don't have anything else to put in there. Maybe... Eh. Grab some stuff out of that box. That's fine. 
Okay, so that box is finished. All right, just gather up all these little plastic pieces I got now. Stupid color wheel. All right. Let's here. Hey, Brandy's here. Hey, Brandy. By the way, did you see the No Face cosplay last Sandy Go? I don't know what that is. Do you think it's strange I dress as Batman full time? Batman asks. I, you know what, Batman? I love that you dress as Batman full time. Considering that your name's Batman and you dress as Batman, I don't think anyone should be surprised or disappointed at that. I think you should be Batman all the time because you're Batman, and that's only fair. I also feel like you might be one of these people that starts out asking innocent questions, and then um, five minutes from now you're going to be asking me what, what my farts smell like. But we'll, only time will tell about that one, because, you know, you never know. you gotta you got to test it out before you get there. Brandy, 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 Brandy's here. Carla's here, Kat's here, everyone here. I do drive a lot. In the past two weeks, I've traveled to Austin, Shreveport, L.A., and New Orleans. You've been to L.A.? Wait, Louisiana or Los Angeles? I kind of wish I went both days since people tell me Saturday was better. Uh, yeah, Saturday's always the better day. Bill, I was thinking the same thing. Dead purple, yeah, I'm thinking about going on a full weekend instead of one day. My invisible band hammer is ready. You know what? Let's actually do something right now. Uh, Alright. Moderators. Okay. Why didn't that work? Set user as moderator. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. That's weird. It didn't work. All right. We'll figure out a way to add Brandy as a moderator later. Oh, my legs. Um, well, Milan, we serve for next time. Always be yourself unless you can be Batman, then always be Batman. It's true. As for filming New York Inside the Hanger's crew, Mika, the only one costume Adam had in the garbage wears all the time. It's okay. Well, we'll figure out how to make you a moderator yet. Uh, Brandy. Just might not be tonight. Something's going on with that. Good night, Chakra. Oh, brief recap. Um, we got yet another box that I've already stuffed with art supplies. And we got some epoxy sculpt. Uh, from Helen. This was from Helen. This was from Zio. And this stuff is going to be used to re-sculpt the portion of my long spear that I've just sawed in half today. Uh, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to thread it tomorrow. And then hopefully, I mean, hopefully it won't be, uh, in disrepair for too much longer. Um third toolbox thingy. Um, you got something for me tomorrow. Oh, really? I look forward to seeing that. Is that from the wish list or is that from the P.O. box? Someone's talking about a girlfriend. 
Gabby, are you asking me, or are you asking someone who's... <laughs> are you asking me, or are you asking someone who was commenting on having a girlfriend? Tell you what. If I had a girlfriend, I'll tell you who'd be mad about it. My wife, am I right? You know what I'm talking about. Um, you were talking to me. Uh, girlfriend stuff. Let's go with no. Um, I'm just gonna give you that. We're gonna put that out there, and that's gonna be the answer. Uh, but none of you guys need to worry about it. Um, there's not gonna be any discussion of who or what is happening girlfriend-wise uh, with me, because it just isn't anything that's relevant to these streams. Is it something you can have too much of, or never enough? You guys are on a different thread than I am. Sorry, dude, not my type. Yeah, Tim, I mean, I think I'd be aiming a little high to try and, uh, to try and get, get with a, a sweet young, young woman like yourself, Tim. <laughs> um, Wraith is lost. See, this is what happens when you start talking about relationships on a stream. It's like everyone's too invested and yet not invested enough. Uh, if he got two boxes of this, he'd probably die from excitement. Weird. As respect to you for having my number, I will not be an ass and leave. Ciao. Alright. Sorry, Batman. I, I didn't mean to... I mean, were you really planning on asking what my farts smell like? Like, was that... Are you so disappointed that I jumped right to that, that you're you're now giving up? I feel like if you really were one of these guys that was going to ask disrespectful questions, you wouldn't give up as easy as just being like, Ah, oh, man, he got to my fart question first. I'm taking off. Um, uh, I came back at a weird moment. Good night, Batman. Bill is a strong, independent god, and he will do what he wants. Yeah, let's not throw around the god thing too much. That might upset people after last time. Somebody got touchy about the Loki thing, Loki worshippers, and I don't want to upset anybody who's got religious beliefs. That's not what we're here for. We want to be inclusive and nice to everyone. Um, yeah, the, uh, the god thing gets tossed around, and I always wonder when I'm outside a con... And there's one of those uh, Bible people holding up the yellow signs, like Jesus saves and all that stuff. If they realize that there are people walking around the con dressed as characters based on Norse gods and stuff, like, and if that upsets them. They haven't said anything to me, and they haven't said anything to Steven yet, but, man, those guys, I don't know what their deal is. Have you seen any other Joss Whedon shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Angel? I've watched a couple episodes of Buffy, I think, and I just wasn't into it. Um, Brandy, the myths are interesting. I know a lot of them. I'm sorry, the fart question was just funny. <laughs> yeah, sure, talking about farts is funny, but like... It was, it was just off topic the other night when that kid was asking that stuff. Um... And I had a feeling it just would have gone downhill if I had indulged him. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. I don't know. You guys feel like, uh... Be careful about the Norse myth books you read. Some of them get stuff pretty wrong. The best sources are the original ones. What sources are there aside from the original? You know what? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what people could possibly be reading. 
so much stuff. So looks like we're pretty much running out of steam here. You guys are you guys are talking, but I'm just like not coming through with anything interesting to say, I feel like. And I kinda wanna take a shower and Oh Larika, you're coming in just at the end. Oh man. Wraith, I have no idea what you're talking about. Do I have any questions? I guess I'm going to leave. Uh, I told you you were gently telling me. Cat, I told you you were gently telling me to shut up. I was like, but why? Telling me to shut up. Okay. Um, do I have any questions? Let me think about a question I want to ask all of you guys at once, because what's going to happen is if I ask one question, what I'm going to get from you is I'm going to get three paragraphs per person, and I'm not going to be able to read them all in any amount of time. Uh, let's say the question that I have for you guys is... What do you think was the best age of your life? Like, when you were, however, when you were this many years old, it was the best time of your life. That's the question I have for you guys. Joanna, I don't know what's going to happen around Christmas time. The crazy thing is from pretty much... Thanksgiving until December 8th, I'm going to be gone. So I'm going to have to have somebody else pick up my packages. Uh, I guess I can have Bobby hold on to them, I think. But I'm going to need to find a neighbor that's willing to take in any packages that come in off the wish list. Um, Jazzy, the how did we find you thing... I mean, there's only really a couple of ways that you could have found me. Um... The original sources have weird names. The Vikings were really into poetry. Um, uh, the, the video will be ending soon, Larika. Yeah, but it looks like we've still got a little bit left. Kat says 27. Brandy says 13. 2013 was the best year, so when she was 13. Apparently, uh, uh, Beard Doc. Really? 12? Oh, I hated being 12. Seventh grade was the worst. Jazzy was born in 1990. Marley says 15. ZMR says 16, 18. Wow. ZMR had a good run. ZMR, did you ever come to L.A.? Because I feel like you were supposed to have come before Kamikaze, and I never got to see you. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, yeah, I feel like seven years old and eight years old was... Seven kind of sucks? Maybe seven, I don't know, all kind of suck. I, I liked third grade. I remember that. Let's see, Mars is 2006. Any age before I had bills to pay. That's fair. <laughs> Dead Purple is judging her quality of life on how tall she was in relation to roller coaster regulations. Um, when I was in my 20s, I think I was. Ooh, Mina's talking about s sowing wild oats. Yeah, middle school was awful for me. Um, 18 and 19 for me. Yeah, I mean, I had some good times in high school, but I think I was actually, like, 
happiest, like legitimately happiest when I was in third, fourth grade. Just playing with toys, reading comic books, like collecting everything I could, and doing all that crap. And uh, middle school just complicated things. All my friends started going out with girls and stuff, and I, I wasn't, like I never caught on to that when they did, so that was kind of tough being left behind. Um, I hated being the one short one. I could, yeah. Yeah, I was short, to, I was too short to go on rides for a while myself, so I, I can relate to that. I hope I didn't offend you. I was making lame jokes over here. Nah, Mika, you're fine. Uh, I was probably happy before the depression started so many. Oh god, Wraith, you're oh you're still so young. Please don't fall into a depression before you've even like started with your life. You can barely you're barely even driving age. Um I was the tallest one in elementary school. Then everyone grew. Yeah. If I had to pick a number two thousand four my senior year of high school. Senior year was fun for me too. That was kind of the opposite, where middle school was people were starting to date girls, and I was jealous about it. And then high school, there was no girls. So, it actually got easier. There was no distractions. Nothing to feel bad about. Your girlfriend. Um, Wraith, you're like 19, aren't you? Uh... I know you're not very old at all. But, like, you shouldn't be feeling the heavy stuff. I was ruined mid-high school. Ugh. This is why I don't ask questions. It's because it gets really sad, guys. Oh, man. 18 and 19 because I went away to school and it was my first time being away from my overbearing mom. Yeah, I liked leaving. Uh, my first year of college was, was huge for me. I was never one of those people that was like, oh, I miss home all the time. Like, I loved leaving home. I'm not saying you guys should be sorry for for um, for answering the question that I asked. It's just, uh, oh, it's sometimes sometimes some of these stories like it's just heartbreaking and it becomes a totally different type of pod uh, webcast. I've learned to manage with my depression. I'm in therapy now, though mostly for anxiety. So hopefully things will get better. Thanks for the hugs, everyone. Bob, what age do you think you were happiest? Yeah, so the question is, what what was the best year of your life? Like, what age was best? Um, and everyone's saying younger. Everyone's generally going younger, except for Kat, who's like, I'm happiest now. Um, Seventeen or five foot. It's so weird, like, you guys, some of you are so, like, I've never seen your faces, I've never seen any actual pictures of you aside from, you know, whatever your icon is, so it's hard to really imagine some of you, your ages, your heights, your general dispositions at all. Yeah, see, Bob's with me, being like, oh wait, no, second grade. Second through eighth grade. Bob had a real good run. 22 and 5-1. 5-5, 5-2. Hi, Bill. Hey, Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. You don't weigh much. What's wrong, Gus? Uh, yeah, Mika, I know what you look like. I know what Bob looks like. I know what Kat looks like. I know what Brandy looks like. But, like, Carla, I don't know, Cynthia, who knows? Helen? Mm. I mean, I, get a I actually have a pretty good idea of what Helen looks like. I've seen enough of her pictures. When I was young, we tried to mimic Ghost Rider and light her wheels on fire. 
Yeah, I almost set uh, our house on fire when I was a kid because there was a kid in the neighborhood named Shane. And he insisted that it was really cool to dump little puddles of gasoline on the on the ground and throw matches in them. And it was cool. Unfortunately, he also thought it was cool to do it inside my garage in my house. So we straight up almost burned my house down when I was a kid. Um, I need that girl to help me. Yeah. Yeah, you and Melody seem to have stri struck up a, a, quite a friendship at Sapcon, Dead Purple. Uh, I went to an academy with mostly the same friends from second grade till high school, then a lot of us separated. Yeah, makes sense. Got me points in middle school. My brother was a co-host on Slime Time Live. That gave me five minutes of popularity. I have beat here, ringing at 410, short person champion. Oh, I see. I set my bed on fire because I was looking for something with a lighter. <laughs> I hope there's pictures of the aftermath of that, at least. That's hilarious, though. It seems like something I would do, and it would sound like a lie, where it's like, no, I, I found a lighter, and it was the only flashlight I had, and I lit the entire house on fire. Oh, God. Accidentally scared the shit out of a football player. All right, that's a story. Oh, man. A lot of racism in my high school years. None of that lovey-dovey extended over the years friendship stuff. Oh, dear, Brandy. Oh, no. We're not going to get into embarrassing stories right now. What we're going to do right now is I think we're going to end the podcast because I am tired and I want to go read comic books and go to bed. So, um, oh, God, bunch of pyrotechnics. I can drink the thing you use on your hands. Oh, my God. My mom still has the sheet. She hasn't let me live it down in years. Well, that's how you learn lessons. Mom shames you into never setting your bed on fire again. Pretty sure I walked in on someone getting a blowjob in ninth grade public bathrooms. All right, that's a little scandalous. Oh boy. When I was younger, my friend thought she would be a hairstylist. She got a bristled curling iron, stuck it in my hair, and had to be cut out. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're gonna pretty much take this this plane is very quickly heading for ground and we're gonna need to point the nose up and just level this thing off um, burnt red sheets just a friendly reminder not to play with fire yeah don't play with fire guys all right as you can see okay a little tired I'm going to bed so, you guys, if you want to stick around and talk to each other and tell each other about pyrotechnics and things, feel free. But, I'm going to bed. You will tell, just t tell the stories to each other. I'll read them later, I promise. I've got time for that, right? Stories, just reading stories. I'll do it tomorrow. Alright, good night everybody, miss you, love you, bye bye